Hola, muy buenas a todos y bienvenidos de nuevo a mi canal. Soy The King of LSV y esto es Red Dead Redemption 2. Y estamos aquí en nuestro pequeño campamento ya después de haber tirado la casa, que no quedó, no quedó nada prácticamente. Hemos montado aquí unos campamentos así provisionales. Y bueno, vamos a seguir con la historia a ver qué, qué es lo que nos ofrece. De momento tenemos aquí la misión de Uncle. Que necesita hablar con nosotros una nueva Jerusalén. Vale, pues vamos a ver qué, qué nos cuenta, porque de momento es la única misión que hay aquí. Así que hablaremos con él. Aquí está en la zona de, de trabajo, aunque no lo parezca. Así que venga, vamos a hablar con él. Está mirando un mapa o algo. No sé qué está mirando. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain? <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. Should get on with this. Vamos ahí. Vamos ahí, clava, clava. Perfect, qué guapis. Otra. Menuda pedazo de casa, ¿no? Las van a ser. Qué bueno. Hay un pajarillo ahí con nosotros. Together. 
together I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Muy guapa queda la casa, sí, sí, sí. Uncle, I thought you was where the hell? La nueva Jerusalén. Misión completada. Vale, ¿y qué tenemos? Otra misión de Ankel. A ver dónde está este hombre. Fijaos qué guapo. Hemos puesto aquí la entrada, candiles, no sé qué. Muy guapo, sí, sí, sí. Vale, a ver. ¿Qué tenemos entonces? Tenemos a Ankel. Nada más. En Blackwater no hay más misiones Ni caza recompensas de momento tampoco Así que nada, tenemos que seguir con El amigo Ankel ¿Dónde le eches estás? Un favorcito para un viejo amigo Hay mucho trabajo pendiente en el rancho Pero Ankel no hace más que holgazanear Pues sí, es su... Es su estilo Pues nada, vamos a ir a buscarle Que no tiene que estar muy lejos Hombre, él dice que piensa y tal, pero nada más, no, no sé más. Un poco holgazán sí que es. La verdad, este hombre. Para vale, que lo vamos a negar. A ver, ¿dónde se ha metido este hombre ahora a dormir? Por ahí, tirado. Por aquí anda. Mira, de aquí a, a, a la sombrita. <risa> Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No, 
Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Que vamos a comprar una granja. Ha perdido la movilidad, dice. Venga, vámonos a Blackwater. Al almacén de madera. Ah, sí, hombre. Aquí ya hemos estado para, para la casa. Pues nada, vámonos. You need someone with some sense to negotiate, and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Eso sí, ni a comprar muebles ni nada, hombre, es la, la acaba de hacer. Ya da, dale tiempo. Ya comprar una silla o algo por ahí, en el IKEA. Vamos, que facilidades sí que le da el ángel. Por lo menos en la parte de pensar. Mira que pronto la solucionado un poco la, la cosa del ganado. Si es que acierta, claro. Pero sí, todo prefabricado, igual que ha comprado la casa. También tiene para preparar un establo, supongo. Bueno, también tengo la, las pieles, pero bueno, ya las venderé. He, he cazado un poquillo. Pero claro, ahora estamos aquí en medio de todo el tinglao. En tal caso, pues en modo libre. Hablemos con este hombre. Emily. Pues muy bien. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and 
I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, but I, this I, man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. Uh, you up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Hombre, pues vamos allá. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Eso. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Ah, vale. Painted Sky. Vale, pues nada, vamos, vamos a ir. Right. The Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there, on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. <coughs> vale, pues estamos otra vez en, en plan caza recompensas. Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobo? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin. You're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them, but some is Californios, and some are regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch, just like we were. And they're friendly, real friendly. Oh yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but. There ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Qué cachonda. Vale, creo que estamos llegando. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Más te vale. <coughs> vale, a ver. Vale, sale. Espera, píllate un arma. John, no seas tonto. Pillamos 
Uah, como tengo la Leafield, le he hecho una pena. Venga, me llevo esta. La Lancaster. Y una escopeta así buena y rápida. Esto. Por si las moscas. Está aquí. Toma, toma. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. En todo los cinco. Yeah, that's him. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Vamos, Ramon. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes. It's different there now. Ah, ha cambiado Rhodes. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. Come on. Dice que ha cambiado Rhodes. Vamos a ver si ha cambiado mucho o poco. Puede que sí. Ha pasado mucho tiempo. Le ha dado tiempo a John a hacer una casa. Eh. Imaginaros la construcción. Uh, está de carnicero, pero bueno. Pero sin prisas. Nos va ofreciendo paz. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez. Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, Mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Los hombres de Cortés. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. La, la madre que los parió. ¿Dónde vas, loca? 
Sin cubrirse ni nada. Vale, vale, a ver, por aquí hay uno. Corre, corre, le veo, le veo. Uh. Ah, claro, se ha escapado. Bueno, lo en. Now pass what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Claro, han creado una distracción Pero hijo, hija Un momento, si el tío no se va a escapar Y necesitamos aquí un poco de De bala, money o lo que sea Por lo menos saquemos a todo esto un poco Y la medicina, bien, bien, bien Un momento, Sadi, no te pires Que saque a estos que están por aquí cerca Y listos. Ahí pillamos pasta. Bueno, eso sí, estamos para vendérselo aquí al este. Al, a los peristas luego, muy bien. Y sobre todo aceite de serpiente y todo esto, que nos viene muy bien. Una pequeña pausa que refresca nunca viene mal. Saqueamos. ¡Hala! Ya está, Sadi, vámonos. Ah, pues sí que hemos pillado ahí munición poca, pero pasta y, y joyas. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hombre, exactamente. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Eh, por ahí se ve zona conflictiva. Okay.
Vamos, vamos. Vale, nos bajamos del caballo. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Las Adies tiene un par, pero bien puestos. A ver. Ahí va Sadi. <ríe> La madre que le parió. Vale, no puedo hacer rollo de Dai, pues. Toma, en el culete, no hay más. Vale, por aquí. Vale, ¿dónde hay más? Es que la cosa es que no veo. No, aquí, aquí. Vale, se me acaba el, el rollo. ¿Dónde hay más? Asegúrate de que me cubres. ¿Dónde hay más enemigos? Calla, loco, que yo no veo, no veo nada. Vale, no, no veo a nadie. No puedo quitarme la... El... A ver... Ah, vale, ya le veo. Joder, viene, macho. Es que... A ver, toma un poco de fuego. Que te... Uy, se pira. Vale, venga. Claro, la cosa es que no le veía al tipo. Como no. Venga. Uf, cuidado. Vamos a cambiar que... Vamos, loco. Uh. Ahí, dejar. Corre, 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 corre. Vamos. Vamos, vamos. Rápido, rápido, rápido. Hay otro por ahí. ¡Oh, 
Oye, esto. Huye. Huye. Toma. ¿Qué ha pasado? No tenía que matarle a lo mejor. Me... Eh, has fallado, has matado a Vale, que no tenía que haberle matado. Es que me, me he emocionado. He jugado al tiro al pichón. Vamos. de nada vamos a tomarnos aquí un poco de pisco labis de todo un poco vamos tú por aquí así por ejemplo Guau, ¿cómo, cómo silba las balas, eh. Necesitamos las pistolas. Si necesitamos algo más potente, no tengo nada. Esto, esto, esto. Tú para ti. Y esta para ti. Súper divertido. <risa> Apunta a la barca. Vale, esto es con el rifle. Nos queremos vivos, pues vale. ¿Querrá que le... que la hundamos o qué? Ah, vale, vale, vale. Le hemos acojonado. Toma ya. Otra vez, tómate un pisco la bis. Tranqui, tranqui, tranqui. Tranqui. Bueno, 
That's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Le saqueamos primero a ver qué tiene. Que tienes un mapa o algo. Hombre, 52 pavos. Y medicina potente para caballo. Hombre, pues muy bien. Bien saqueado está entonces el hombre. Pues venga, vámonos. You're a dead woman. You are a dead man. The de lobos will not forgive this. Uy, se te pega un, un golpe. We will find you and we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell. I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Thanks, <laughs> mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Tío, la ha dejado clarito, Sadi. Que vengan, que ahí estamos. Muy bien dicho. Está hecha una casa de recompensas, pero vamos, total. Vale, volvemos a Rhodes. Here we are. Back again. <ríe> Eso parece. Vale, pues hemos vuelto. Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. <laughs> you say so. See you around, partner. La tía es una fenómena. No cabe duda.
Préstamo del banco, préstamo ta, ta, ta. Vale, vamos, vamos saldando la deuda poco a poco. Muy bien. Pues la verdad es que, oye, no, no está nada mal la, el, el asunto. Pues nada, chicos, vamos a dejar aquí el capítulo de hoy. La verdad es que ha estado súper emocionante también con otra vez en plan casa recompensas. Y fijaos ya cómo está la casa, ¿eh? una, una, una pasada, ¿eh? Se supone que se puede entrar, ¿no? Digo yo. La verdad es que muy bien, ¿eh? Un buen trabajo. Bueno, que falta, pues como, lógicamente, un toque femenino. Pero, oye, no está nada mal. Nada mal en absoluto. Había salido un, una señal, me vas aquí al dormitorio y tal, en, en correos. El baño... Como que tengo una carta. Bueno, salía como un signo de admiración. Que no sé si debería ir antes de acabar el capítulo. A ver. Ahora no, ahora no lo marca. Vale, entonces ya lo dejaremos para el siguiente. Pues me había parecido ver ahí una señal de... Como que habíamos recibido algo. Como escribimos es la carta y tal. No sé si habría que mandársela o algo. Bueno, entonces eso ya lo, lo iremos averiguando o quizás surja solo. Pues nada, chicos, lo dicho, vamos a dejar aquí el capítulo de hoy. Ha estado bastante bien, así que estoy contento. Ha sido un placer, como siempre, compartirlo con vosotros. Muchas gracias por todo. Un saludo y hasta la próxima, campeones.